Hi, this is a presentation brought to you by WVRI's Interns About Gender Equality. Um, wait five seconds, wait five seconds. gender equality? Um, I personally think that gender equality is when people of all genders have equal rights to opportunities, responsibilities, and right now. I agree. I like, I just think it goes along the lines of men, women, trans, like whatever you choose to identify your gender as, having like the same rights and as Jenkins said, like opportunities to do whatever they want despite how they identify. Yeah, honestly, I think it should be like equal to all, no matter like what you identify as, as Courtney said, like it shouldn't matter what you choose to be. You should always just be like the same level of like equality as everybody else, no matter like gender, race, religion, it doesn't matter. Yeah, this country would I have a question to, oh, go so William. I was gonna say that this country is really like built, built off of unity to like, why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you give everybody the same rights, the same freedom of speech, you know, all those same freedom that basically are in most of like the things that we see today in the history, like the amendments and all that stuff. So I just think it's kind of dumb not to get the vote their rights. Yeah. Um, to build off that question, do you guys believe in the the wage gap? Yeah. yeah. Between men and women? All right, I think it's getting better though. I think it's getting better. Like, Obviously, from where it was in the earlier days, men were paying more, but honestly, in the way society is today, I don't see a lot of gender inequality in that stance of pay gaps. But I mean, obviously, I'm a minor, so I can't really speak to everyone or every like thing, everyone's job, just like where I've experienced and everything, it's been the same. I feel like women still do get paid less than men, even if it is like 25 cents or 75 cents, those cents count like we'll be doing the same jobs as the men that are doing it and we'll still get paid less. Like it doesn't matter if they do it better or we do it better, it still should be the same. You think this would also apply to a woman who um, becomes trans and be, um, who's trans and identifies as a male, you think the wage gap would apply to them? Honestly, I feel like some people would pay them less because they are transgender because like they are switching genders like if they're a woman becoming a man people will still them like still see them as a woman instead of a man but they chose to be a man we have to respect their decision and call them what they want to be yeah i'm, I'm the same i think it's sad to say that i think there will be a good job Okay, I have a question. Do you guys think it's right that guys are able to, like, be able to show their tops and girls can't? No, it is not. Honestly, I've been waiting for this I've been waiting on you, wait. It's no. not, because guys walk around with no shirts all the time. And honestly, they let little girls do that, too. I go to the beach, I see little girls walking around, no bathing suit tops. And you know what? People ignore it because they're a child. They have no boobs. Like, what are you honestly doing? But then as they grow older, it becomes a problem. So you're trying to say just because I'm more developed than another person is, it's a problem if I do the same thing they're doing. And it's not like some guys don't have boobs, too. There are plenty of men walking around with boobs, no shirt. Yo. But people don't have a problem with that. But when females do it it's a problem and honestly i'm not encouraging that females should go and do this but i'm just saying why is it like their fault that there are men out there who are gonna sexually objectify them just because they want to be free and do what all these other men are doing it, it makes no type of sense it's not Ish. our fault that men objectify women like we didn't ask that we didn't ask to be caught on, behalf the men, on behalf of the men who do not objectify it. All men do not objectify women. Irish. But a majority of them do, which is why it's not normal. I don't think it's a majority of them. It's the it's the ones that are most seen in media, like rappers and how they're always talking about, oh, they get this girl and get that girl. And I also think that the over-sexualization of women today, how you see women in bathing suits and all that, I'm not saying that, oh, they shouldn't be in there, but because of this over-sexualization and how the country was also built on Christianity in the... Um, built on Christianity where they think that, oh, women should be pure. She should always be pure. If they show any part of their body, they're unpure. 
that's when yeah that's when like things start like going down like what confuses me is like i wear a bathing suit right and it like i don't really have like a body structure like i don't have any curves whatsoever stop but if like my sister were to wear something or like somebody with like more curves they would be called like uh like a hoe because they're showing off their body more just because they have like larger parts or they have like more curves it doesn't matter it's like they shouldn't be called that whatsoever also everybody in the world has nipples i'm sorry so it doesn't matter if you see it through the shirt if you're a girl i mean guys have one they see it through the shirt so what's the problem if girls see it through the shirts gender inequality that's the problem period So to throw another question out there, do you think that trans um, transgender people should be able to play in the sports league they are transitioning to? So if a man was to transition to a woman, do you think he should be able to play in the women's sports league? Honestly, I do think that they should be able to. It doesn't matter if you're originally a male or originally a female, like sports teams should be open to all no matter what they were originally before. I agree with Kimmy. It's like everybody's decision should be respected, even if you don't agree with their decision. Who are you to tell them what they can and can't be able to do? So if they want to play with these specific, like if they want to play with that gender, why should you stop them? It's not going to affect you. Like, it's their choice. Yeah, I agree with Kimmy. Each of the for a very long time, people were able to do this in like our day and age, 2020. Like, like, I feel like everything is open now. A lot more people are open-minded. So I feel like we should allow whoever is that one to do their thing. If they want to play for a team that they're trying to see what they should be allowed to. But how would y'all combat the argument that um, scientists say that men's bodies are biologically different from women's bodies. So if a woman was to participate in a men's league, the, um, what's it called, the level at which they're playing in would be a little bit higher than if they're to participate, participate in a women's league. Because there was a case where a man transitioned to a woman in a bicycle league and she was dominating to the point where they, people were saying it was unfair because he's biologically different from the woman and that's a women's league. So they were trying to make the argument that he should be playing in the men's league, although he's a woman, because biologically he's a man. Um, I think once again, it's their choice. Like they should. I agree that like when we were born, like Homo sapiens and everything, the way men are built is obviously just to be like stronger, more muscles, while women are supposed to be like frail and like broad or whatever. So obviously, I understand where that's coming from. But once again, it's their choice. Like. You're gonna see who the competition is as you enter. So you're gonna know whether or not it's unfair. And if you choose to continue to participate in that, what does it have to do with anybody else? Nobody else is forcing you to do that. It's your choice. Um, to go off of Courtney, like I feel, yes, men are built differently than women. Some are more muscular, taller, whatever. But there are women that are stronger than men and like more muscular, taller, like there are guys that are like five five and the girl's six foot something and the girl can weight lift like two hundred to three hundred pounds and the guy can barely like weight lift like twenty pounds. Like it shouldn't matter that they are built different. It's just depending on the person if they wanna do what they wanna do. Like guys they like say that guys are stronger than girls and sometimes it is true but sometimes it's not. The girls also have some muscle mass they can contribute like when i was like in middle school they would always ask all the boys to come help move the chairs and not ask the, like the girls to help move the chairs it's a chair it weighs like five pounds you know what i mean yeah i agree i just think like asking their parents to their parents you know if they like i don't think that even i think that's just complete bs because no matter what, there's women that are like, body, you know, there's bodybuilders, there's women that are like are more, like, you know, as long as they're putting in the work and like just like working out and doing everything they can to compete in it. And they're at like the level that they, 
like competition level, I don't think it should matter at all. So do you think this stigma stigma of men being stronger than women is instilled to us through society? Like how Kimmy said how they would ask the boys to carry the chairs um, and not ask the girls to carry the chairs or how for like the pacer test they'll the have the boys pacer test. scores higher than the girls. Like the girls would have to average I think a 10 and the boys would have to average like a 25. I think that's a problem in and out of itself. But then it's like, it's just facts. You can't go against the facts, but they should just like try and level the playing field so that there is some equality. It shouldn't matter what gender I am to like base my score off of that. Like I get what I get and whether I have male genitalia or female genitalia shouldn't like define that. To go off of Courtney, I feel like when people do like the pacer tests, they pay attention more to the boys than they do to the girls because they feel like the girls are weaker in running, sports, doing anything that's like physical or activity wise because we're not like competitive or like athletic as the guys are. I agree. Yeah, I think so. Over time, like throughout history, we've seen multiple times where you know people or not even the people like literature, history books, all that, this this that the third. There were talks about how, you know, like, for example, women are housewives, and all the people who all they do is cook, all the men are there to, like, build, you know, do all the big stuff, or, you know, like, those type of things. I just don't, I don't, I don't think it is. Okay, so to culminate all of this, do you really think that um, show, um, gender equality can be achieved in the U.S.? Honestly, yes. I think it can be achieved, like, throughout, like, the whole world, but like today even still gender equality is not like a thing like guys still compare girls and uh, like girls and guys they say that they're stronger they pick on the girls for being weaker they do boys versus girls which is like really stupid because the guys have a bigger advantage especially if you're built bigger and the girls more fragile like guys still like say like housewives like go cook for me go clean for me just Hold one more minute me, Mr. Man. You haven't been helping at all with Junior. I don't need this. What? Like, no. What, Kylie Jenner was the first billionaire or whatever in the world at the youngest age. And what, guys need to catch up because we're overrunning. Sorry. I'm kind of gonna, like, it's kind of contradicting, kind of, like, supporting it. So it's like... I don't think we're gonna ever like achieve gender equality and then all my evidence is like based off of Kimmy's facts like there's always gonna be men just in general just like built bigger than females and always gonna have that like upper advantage that's making it unequal like unfair and whatever they do especially when it comes to sports based on like the stereotypes that have been associated with men being like the dominant gender in sports but if we actually tried like if we just ignored everything that has been built into our heads from society from school from our peers then we could overcome that and just like live life without thinking so deeply into everything and having like just believing that there's a reason for everything that makes it unfair if you get what i mean yeah, can i add into that real quick i don't think uh, like i think i think it's sad to say i don't think there'll be um, gender equality because when you look at it, like, like from young ages, like people's families been like, te- like, like raising people to believe that, oh, this isn't right, or this is like that bad, like you shouldn't be doing this. And with that being said, a lot of people like pass that on generations and generations and generations and generations. And there's a lot of people on this planet. So I think, and like, like I just said, as long as people are ignorant, I don't To like add to that, let's just talk about it. girl and boy push-ups. Why is that even a thing? Like, okay, why is the girls' push-ups on their knees? Why? Like <laughs> that just goes into so many more problems. But it's just like no answers for that. <laughs> what's the difference between having your legs straight and then having your knees down and your legs up? Like, what's is, the- it, is it because we have boobs? Does that make us weaker? Like, it's like, are we not able to get our whole body on the ground? It's not making I'm, any I'm flat chested and I could go all the way down to the ground. 
So I don't see, I don't see the problem. I don't see the difference. Literally.